the Aaron's LED headlight. An easy mod for your snowblower, but is it brighter than your standard Aaron's halogen headlight? Time to shine some light on this add-on. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And if you are feeling the vibe and you wanna be part of the tribe, subscribe. My 2013 Aaron's Deluxe 28 has had this original halogen headlight bulb the entire time. And it's probably on borrowed time, but it still shines with approximately 48 lux from about 10 feet away while using a lux meter app on my phone. Which in my mind is pretty good considering it shines up everything in my path nicely. I thought about putting my own LED light kit on this snowblower, but my neighbor did that aftermarket mod on his Toro, spent way too much time on it, and and it was oddly underpowered. Maybe he didn't put it on right, making me hesitant to add LEDs. In this case, my standard halogen bulb was far brighter. Aaron's though recently came out with this replacement LED light kit that fits many models. This unit can be used on 2011 and newer select compact, deluxe, platinum, professional, and power brush models. Simply log on to the Aaron's website to ensure your fit. The model number is 721-04400. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I bought this light kit with my own money so I can give you an honest review. Let's get this bad boy installed and see if it can do any better than the previous halogen headlight. So here's what comes in the box. We have our instruction manual. This walks you through every single step to make this install super easy. We have two coarse thread screws, our adapter wire, and the piece of resistance. The LED headlight. Right off the bat, this thing looks really cool. Style points for Aaron's on this one. Does this thing make me look like Cyclops from X-Men? <laughs> that's, that's wild. First, you wanna make sure that the unit is off and remove the key. Now, according to the instructions, you'll wanna install this when the unit is cool. Even Aaron's is telling you to chill. From here, we're gonna find the two screws on the headlight behind the dash. We've got one eight millimeter screw right there and another one right there. We might have to get a little funky with the sockets. Oh, From here, man. I'm gonna take my extra small ratchet with an eight millimeter and attack these two screws. Not a lot of room in here. This is a slow go, just so you know. I got it about halfway, now I can get it by hand. And there's our first screw. And for this one, what I did is took an extension and we can get at this one a little bit easier. And out it comes. Now I'm wearing some gloves for this guy because I like to take some oil spray and spray up underneath the dash so nothing rusts. But here we go. This whole thing is actually coated with oil. Look at that. From here I'm gonna grab these side tabs, open them up, and pull the light out. There we go. I'm gonna wipe this guy off really quick, making sure that I don't touch any of the metal ends. So now back at the workbench, I wanted to take a second here and show you a few things. You're definitely gonna to wanna to use the new screw. If you look, the silver screw is the one that they give you for the new light. It's about a third bigger. We're gonna be definitely using the new screws. From here, I'm gonna take my LED light, my new adapter wire. This is pretty much plug and play, just simply plug it right in, just like that. Ready to go. And then from here, what we're gonna do is take our plug and our adapting wire and connect them. Just like that. From here, I'm gonna drop my wire down, pop the light into place. I'll tell you what, that looks great already. And from here, what I'm gonna do is take a bungee cord and just wrap it around the dash to help me hold this light in place while I bolt it down. There we go. That's actually a really big help because now I can move it into the precise spot to bolt it in easy. I'm gonna take my new screw, find the hole, screw it in. By the way, these new screws are one quarter inch. Let's send them in. Notice I'm putting these in by hand, I'm not using a driver. That could be too much force and could strip the plastic. Do not over tighten them and just snug them down. This other one's gonna be just a little tricky to get up in there. Ratchet up there. Come on, work with me. This is definitely a tight spot to be in for sure. Good. Unhook the bungee cord. One last thing I'm gonna do here, these cords kind of bump up into the controls. So what I'm gonna do is zip tie them here up to this piece of metal. Zip tie up and through, feed it down. Kind of hard because I can't get two hands in there too well. Pull them up, nice and tight to the dash. And from here, just snip that bad boy short. Don't forget to reinstall your key. That is actually really cool looking. I love the way it's big, bad, and bold just sticking out from the dash. It seals up that entire gap in the dash nicely. We gotta go test this out. But before we go light things up, would you mind taking a super quick second to hit that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm? Thank you, I greatly appreciate it. I'm setting everything up exactly the same as I did for the previous test with the same distance from the garage door and the same Lux meter app on my phone. This is so much brighter already. Check this out, nice bright white light. Boom, 
What a big difference that LED light makes. The original halogen headlight had these two squiggly lines going down the middle of my garage door, where most of the lights seem to focus in these odd bright spots. Now the LED light, that cast a very wide bright light. Now I'm no master electrician here, but I found this to be really weird when I held the lux meter up to the garage door. I got the same amount of lux as I did with the previous halogen headlight, coming up at 48 lux. That is weird. I reset it between each test and it oddly enough came up the same. In this case, it's just a different kind of light, a very bright white light. I can tell you right now, at night when I'm snow blowing my driveway, I will be able to see the entire thing. Probably my neighbor's driveways on the side too. This is a significant difference compared to the halogen headlight. This modification is without a doubt a keeper. I am very happy with this mod, making this snow blower with all of its upgrades that much more of a beast. As always, thank you for supporting the channel. If you are interested in picking up one of these LED lights, I'll have them linked down below in the comments as well as in the video description. If it's not available on Amazon, I'll have the website link down below in the description too. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.